now the biggest problem is with 47 mile an hour gust projected. Trying to keep my hat on and wondering whether the wind bus will eliminate enough of the wind that you can even hear me. But I'm going to take a quick walk around. They brought in more tractors. Sprayer. There's a rig for you. anything I'll just briskly walk it I need to check to see what time it is about 4:35 there'll be uh, I guess about two and a half hours yet be a good bit brought in yet, about two and a half hours. We've got a lot of hopper wagons. And I suppose everybody's going to bigger equipment using semis. It'll be interesting to see how my wind muff does with the wind gusts we've got today. I can edit some wind noise out, but it's pretty hard when it's real strong.
the camera I'm using is a Insta 360 Ace Pro. Uh, the built in microphones are not very good for eliminating wind noise. The video I did yesterday, I was able to take most of it out with the software that I use for editing videos, but still the sound wasn't that great. So it'll be interesting to see how <coughs> this audio turns out in the video this video. It's not not a strong gust right at the moment, but when I was coming down the interstate to get here, it was strong enough I decided to pull off the interstate and take a state highway. Because my box truck felt like it wanted to tip over. Walking at a brisk pace. I assume you could probably slow the video down if you want to take a closer look at something or stop it. But I try to keep the video from getting too long. I'll just keep walking about, about as fast as I can without running, and I'm not going to do that. Some of it I got a video of yesterday, but they brought quite a bit more in. And with a couple hours to go with set up, I'm sure they'll bring more in. Yeah, we got some good gusts going on. I guess that was all of the bigger machinery. I thought they were supposed to have a big combine, but they may sell it just with the photos they got online. I don't know. that much to bring me back at least till later probably toward afternoon there's an old full type disc familiar with this type of farming. That snow fence. I haul that south sometimes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rows, rows, rolls, I believe. Yeah, if I were here, I might, might try to buy it. I think I bought seven rolls one day auction in a barn for a dollar.
I guess I could do it like some people and drive my van around, but I prefer to walk it. I wonder if the wind blew that panel over. doesn't look like <coughs> you're going to have quite as many smaller items. <coughs> of course, there can still be some coming in. I don't know if they take anything much tomorrow or not. Most of this I got yesterday. I bet I'll walk it again. They have a pretty good say, selection of lawnmowers here. I could use a better one. Bought my last rider here quite a few years ago. But they'll probably be sold before I get back. Still things coming in up there. Those will go out to the outer field, I assume, but uh, they might put them here. Uh, here's what I need to drive to the auctions. Alright, uh, get a good fuel economy with that a bit. Sure glad it isn't too cold today or that wind would be brutal.
Yeah, they <coughs> quite often have about twice as much of these type of things here. So I imagine the rains hurt, hurt getting it in here. Barrel moving on its own. I told him it's YouTube and my, my channel is Antique Picking Adventures. Thought me I was using a GoPro, but no. There's three main action cameras. GoPro, I guess, is the best known, but DJI, most people seem to think is better. And this last one that came out, the Ace Pro, a lot of people say it is better than the Action 4 that DJI has. I've not had a GoPro or a DJI, so I can't really say, but uh, it's got, this has got some nice features. Flip up screen's nice when you're walking it like this so you can see what you're aiming at. Yeah, I got another road started here. Well, they're still bringing stuff in. Uh, at this point, I doubt whether I come tomorrow. The other auctions got a lot more farm primitives that I might make a dollar on, depending if I can buy them. Buy them right, that is. But. It looks like they're going to have a pretty good auction. I would guess is not as much as past years, but uh, as wet as it is, I imagine a lot of people can't even get to the items they want to sell. And a lot of people that have to work nine to five they may still bring their items in a troy built mower but make it down to the truck and that'll probably be about it i've been around around it a couple times a day so it'll be interesting to see how many miles i walked